What is going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. This is your boy Detroit coming back to you guys with the final video in the four part series for best high end, low end PC recording and streaming settings for OBS. If you guys missed the first two videos, there will be a link down for both of them in the description below. Before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Also, if you guys can, please make sure you guys drop a like because it definitely helps with the YouTube algorithm and helps with ranking this video. In this last video, we're gonna be going over both the streaming and recording settings for a low-end PC. I know the first two videos that we had were based on high-end PCs. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so the first thing you guys wanna do is obviously open up your settings. Uh, here, there's nothing much really going on in general. We're gonna go into the stream tab first. For the stream tab, obviously, if you guys are streaming on Twitch, make sure you guys select Twitch, whatever it is. Uh, server leave it as auto recommended uh, stream key obviously don't show that to anybody we're gonna go right into the output now for the streaming settings uh everyone for the output mode make sure you guys select advanced stay away from simple for this select advanced and in the audio track here we're gonna just select one for the encoder make sure you guys select the nvenc new encoder this new encoder obviously as i discussed in the first two videos it's it's much less taxing on your gpu on your computer and it's much much more streamlined than it was before nvidia worked on this they tweaked some settings in the background and it made it much much better for your pc for the enforced streaming service encoder settings you guys can leave this checked if you'd like Next thing we're going to do is go into the rate control here. Make sure you guys select CBR. For non-affiliates, I recommend you leave your bit rate at around 2000. For affiliates with low-end PCs, I would not go above 3500 for your bit rate. So 2000 if you're a non-affiliate and 3500 would be the max if you are a affiliate for Twitch. For the keyframe interval, leave that at zero. Now for the preset. For preset, I would go <laughs> stick with performance or max performance here. Stay away from uh, max quality. So we'll go for performance in this video. Profile, make sure you guys select high. For these two, and make sure you have both of these checked for look ahead and cycle visual tuning. GPU, leave that at zero, and max B frames, leave that at two. For your audio, guys, make sure you guys select 48 kilohertz for your sample rate. Desktop audio, choose whatever you guys are using to output your desktop audio to. For your mic here, I'm using my Rode microphone, so I've got my focus right USB selected. And then we'll go right into, make sure I said apply. Okay, so now we'll get into the video settings tab. Now for the video, I would make sure here, I definitely recommend you guys obviously stream in 720p. If you guys are non-affiliates and affiliates, I would stick with 720p for now until you guys build your base. This way you guys don't have to worry about transcoding as much and things of that sort. So select 720 for your base canvas resolution. For your output scale resolution, make sure you guys select 720. For your downscale filter, make sure you guys select bilinear, fastest, but blurry of scaling. Stay away from these other ones. These are for higher end PCs. So select bilinear. For your common FPS value, if you are not an affiliate yet, I would stay at 30 for your FPS. If you guys are an affiliate, you can bump it up to 59.94 or 59.94 and see if that works out for you guys when you're streaming. Um, if you guys are having issues at that FPS, you guys can always lower it back down to 30, but you can definitely try. Make sure you guys hit apply. Hotkeys, you guys know how to set up your hotkeys. These are obviously shortcuts for your keyboard. And hit apply. Make sure then we go into the advanced settings tab. Now for process priority, I would keep mine at normal or above normal here. So select one of those, we'll click above normal. For video, I've like I discussed in the first two videos, everyone, I've played around with these multiple times and you really don't see much difference. If you guys are having some color issues, then you can play around with these settings um, here. So we'll select, we'll just leave these as, as they are right now. Hit apply. And then we're gonna go back into the recording. So in the recording section here, we're gonna select standard. Make sure you guys set your recording path wherever you guys wanna record the video. I just leave mine on my desktop. And this way, once I'm done streaming, I can just grab my videos and edit them right then and there in Premiere. For recording format, make sure you guys select MP4. For audio track, select one. And then into your encoder, make sure you guys select NVENC new again. Now, if you guys do have an AMD graphics card or an X264, it will pop up here. Obviously there's X264. I do not recommend streaming or recording with X264. Um, obviously a lot of you, that's all you have right now. So you guys can just use X264 with these settings that we discussed so far. 
If not, you guys can select your AMD graphics card here, but definitely select select the NVENC new encoder if that's what you guys have. For your rate control, I make sure that you guys keep VBR. VBR is better for recording. For your bit rate here, we're going to definitely change this up. We're going to leave it at 35,000. For your bit rate, max bit rate, I would not go any higher than 45,000. Keyframe interval, make sure you guys leave that at zero. For your preset here, we're going to click performance again like we did in the streaming tab. And then for your profile, I'll make sure to leave that at high. Make sure you guys have these two checked again, the look ahead and the cycle visual tuning. GPU, leave that at zero and max B frames, leave that at two. Make sure you guys hit apply and yeah. All right, YouTube, that wraps up the four part series for best high end and low end PC recording and streaming settings. Please make sure you guys have any questions, you guys drop them down below. I'll make sure to answer all of them as I have been answering them. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel and YouTube. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.